The truck driver ran a red and slammed into the camera. The truck driver and a false witness tried to pin it on the camera saying that the camera ran a red. Thanks to dash cam footage, the truck driver was found fully at fault. The Dodge driver was going way above the speed limit, being a hazard to himself and others. The Karma Cup brought his speeding to a quick stop to dish up some justice. Clearing a car of ice or snow prior to driving it is a very considerate thing to do. Unfortunately, a sheet of ice flew and damaged the camera's car. Initially, the camera was going to be found fully at fault for this accident, but according to him, after insurance reviewed the footage, the camera only had to pay the repair for fixing the bike rack and nothing more. The camera caught this crazy police chase. I feel like this is a lost cause because a driver may outrun a single cruiser, yes, but one can never outrun the police radio. The camera had a green light, whereas the truck driver had to stop and yield prior to turning. The truck driver failed to do so and was found at fault for this crash. The driver hit the parked Kia and then earned himself some hit and run charges by fleeing the scene. Police are on the lookout for that driver that hit the Kia. The driver of the white sedan entered the highway too fast while the roads were wet. This caused them to hydroplane and ram into the barrier, totaling their vehicle. No serious injuries were reported. The driver of the blue Nissan ran a solid red ramming into the Ford. The blue Nissan driver was found at fault and cited. The driver behind the camera claims that she wasn't paying attention and rear-ended the camera. Because of this, she was found at fault. The cyclist was possibly looking for cars to break into. Having parking mode with wireless connectivity on your dashcam would be able to pinpoint exactly who broke in. Thankfully, it didn't happen here, but it is common.
Hooray! Oh my god, you have such bad... The camera nearly collided with the oblivious Camaro driver. The camera decided to teach the Camaro driver a lesson and brake check, kind of like vigilante justice. Overall though, I believe he should have let it go. The Mini Cooper driver tried to go straight from a turn-only lane, causing the BMW to clip him. That simple mistake will cost the Mini Cooper's insurance a pretty penny. cozier, deeper colors in the fabrics. So they started talking reupholstery fabrics. The dark grey coupe driver was distracted and nearly clipped the camera. Behind the camera was a karma cop who saw the whole thing and dished up some justice. The driver tried to do a Tokyo Drift U-turn, but instead made a fool of himself by spinning out and nearly crashing. The camera saw the broken down car and instead of just stopping and gazing, got out of his truck to help him push his car into safety. DDS subscribers are the best, aren't they? Initially, the camera was going to be at fault, as the other driver tried to pin it on the camera. After the dashcam footage was shown, the other driver was sighted and put at fault by the insurance. The Volkswagen driver got mad at the camera and tried to run him off the road and harassed him multiple times. The camera didn't engage and just recorded in case he wanted to press charges. <laughs> 